This is the season of in gathering. A time when we are celebrating our first service back in our sanctuary. Another year of gathering together, sharing stories and and holiday celebrations. Over a thousand congregations and thousands more of Unitarians around the world mark this time with special celebrations. It's a coming together to remember the life saving life affirming value of our community. We bring to the altar of life all that we hold in our hearts and to feel the support of a loving community, which is a continued support of courage and resilience. In gathering services are of particular importance because they remind us of our fundamental connectedness. It matters that we take time to just pause, be present, and be present with one another. To breathe and feel that we are fundamentally linked to each other and how we are fundamentally linked to humanity and to this earth. We strive to live more fully to the interdependence that is at the heart of our values. We are connected by real yet unseen threads of care and intention and of the hopes we have for one another in this world. We are connected to our commitment of love and justice, and we are connected together as Unitarian Universalists. With all that is going on in the world, the wars, the, the floods, the famines, the earthquakes. <clears throat> Our fundamental values remain unchanged. We affirm the inherent dignity of all people and we will not let up for our work of injustice. We share a commitment to equity and compassion in all things as well as our will willingness to learn and grow. Our honoring of interdependence of all creations, these values endure and they guide us, they guide our way always. I am so grateful for the ways we all care for one another and the well being of our community. But make sure you care for your own well, well being as well. To nurture and tend to the goodness that is in you. And as we all celebrate this time of in gathering and water communion, may we feel the strength, the love, the connection, and presence of our wider UU community. This morning, we carry love and hope and seek to renew our covenantal commitments. We remind ourselves of the sanctuary we share, a space that we come back to whether after a long or short absence, a space we welcome all to make their own, a space of love and care for one another. And we gather ritually this morning, carrying gifts of our summer, symbols of the water that we have been present with and which has been present to us. These symbols may call to mind light summer showers, thunderstorms, dewy mornings, and misty evenings, or moments at ocean sides, river sides, lake sides, swimming, fishing, hiking, strolling, or kayaking, and who we were with while we were there, even if we were alone. Perhaps we found ourselves in the presence of water during a moment of grief or birth or rebirth, or perhaps in a mundane place where sacredness is palpable nonetheless. We reflect upon what we brought with us to these moments and places in backpacks, coolers, surely, but more so what spiritual, emotional, or other baggage we carried and what we did with it while we were there in these watery places and moments. 
did did the water's resiliency Did the water's resiliency inspire you or its serenity? Maybe it's waxing and waning tide, the music of its motion or the silence of its sleep. Did you feel the interde interdependent web of all existence coming alive in those moments? Some of you may have had the gift of momentary spiritual epiphany. Others of you, a growing awareness of how this very water is like strands of the web and how the web is us and everything. Reflecting on water is a good way to understand the seen and unseen presence in our lives. Water is all around us. It is in us. It is everywhere. We literally cannot survive without water. We are in a state of absolute dependence on it for our lives. And all the water we drink is the same water that everything on this planet has ever drunk. Today, we use water to reconnect as a community after enjoying summer. It is also a way to declare that you are glad to return and you are happy to reconnect with familiar faces. Please come forward to add your water to the communal bowl to blend with all the others and share your thoughts, wisdom, or memories of summer in the spirit of communion. Mm -hmm.